Number eight, they want you to find the difference quotient. This formula will be provided for you on the test. So it's this one here. And they'll give you an F. So we want to do 3 minus 2x squared and work with this. So this formula has a couple different pieces to it. Now f of x they already give you, so we already know one of those pieces we can put in. But we still have to find out what f of x plus h is, so let's do that part. So f of x plus h means that you're gonna take this one, you're gonna remove the x, replace it with x plus h. So I have three minus two, and I'm putting in x plus h in place of the x there. That's what it's gonna look like. Let's try and expand this as much as possible. Be careful you don't make the mistake of subtracting the three and a two first. You can't do that because you gotta follow your order of operations. That means your square, that's the part that comes first. We gotta do that part. So we'll do the square first, so we're gonna leave the two alone, and we'll multiply this. That's x plus h and x plus h. If you multiply that out, you'll get x squared plus two xh plus h squared. And then we're going to expand, we'll multiply that by negative 2. So we're going to do, uh, so we have f of x plus h is going to equal 3 minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared. This would be as far as you could go with your answer. And so now we're ready to put it into this formula. So here's what it's going to look like. Okay, so first I've got 3 minus 2x squared minus 4xh minus 2h squared. This whole thing is your f of x plus h minus sign. That would be the minus sign in the formula there. And then in the parentheses here, I'm going to put 3 minus 2x squared. I'm going to put it in parentheses to remind myself that I have to distribute the negative all the way through. All this is over h. So that's this formula. So again, all this from here to here, that's f of x plus h minus sign, part of the formula f of x is that parenthesis part afterwards. Now, instead of writing all this out again, I'm just going to go ahead and automatically distribute the negative here. So if I distribute the negative, I get this. So I get negative 3 plus 2x squared. Make sure you distribute that negative to both of them. Now that this is complete, I can start canceling some terms. The 3 and negative 3 are going to cancel out. Negative 2x squared and 2x squared are going to cancel out. I'm left, I should be left with something that has an H in it. Now, if I don't have an, an H in all my terms left over, go back and check your work because you should only have terms that have H in it left over. So now that means I get negative 4xH minus 2H squared. All that's going to be over H. So next step is I'm going to factor out an H. So if I factor out an H from the top, now I could factor out a 2 along with that, but I'm, uh, for this problem I don't need to. I'm just going to factor out an h so I can cancel this one out from the bottom. So I get negative 4x minus 2h, all that over h, and the h's you can now cancel out and you get negative 4x minus 2h. There's no special notation you need to put for that. You can just simply put that down as your answer.